1899. By the 1899, the age of applause and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Few gangs still roam, but they were main hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games presents Red Dead Redemption 2. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur, any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Chapter one, Coulter. Bring him in here. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay <laughs> here, <laughs> and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. 
We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome Let's to Red Dead Redemption Ain't 2. Sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. I ain't never Stay played close. a Red Dead Redemption we'll game, honestly. My first trail. one. Probably should have played one first in the I mean, more like this it's town. better than nothing, well, right? It has to blow over soon. Can I say this game looks freaking gorgeous? Well, I mean, a little, a little bit weird here in some areas. It's pretty nice. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. I am the ghost Gentlemen. of Christmas past. Well, no, I just can't see Micah. I think so. Man. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a oh. real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. I wonder where this takes place. Like, I've been curious about that. It's 1899. But I'm not really sure where it takes place. Have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Best you two lie low on this. Where's my horse going? Oh, crap. I thought he was going to run off the edge. Okay. Let's head down there. I don't see any hitching Let posts. Let me do oh, the talking. Yeah. We don't want to scare these folks. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. I don't to take up. It sounds like they're having fun in there. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, what? Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need... So oh crap! In the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Nah, I don't think I will.
Got him. Can I just shoot him? If it wants me to chase him, I guess I will. Come here, boy! I could have just done that. <laughs> Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Come on. Oh, it smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside I'm here. down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Hey, <laughs> whiskey. Something beef. Micah, Arthur, keep All right. looking for stuff. Ready to go. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. See what you we got. Need. It. Sure. Out here, horse. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. All right. You're going to tell me everything, boy. Where's Comb, O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please, please spare me. Oh, I mean, how could I do anything to the guy that just, you know, jumped me? Yeah, not worth it. Dang, ant laws, where's my hat? Pick up your gun, where's my gun? Oops. Gun, and my hat. Oh, he's a good You're horse. Right, You're a good horse, yeah, aren't you? All right, let's go. Marsha, what the hell do you think you do? Who are the guys out in the cellar? Why are they against you? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her, miss, miss. Are you? Fuck you, fool, Michael. Look at her. Dude, come on! Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. Yeah, hey, we got rid of all them outlaws. We need to get out of here. And yeah, we replace them with the better outlaws. Us. Are you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. They lost us. They. they... <laughs> Okay. Miss, you are safe. Oh, now. yeah, he's the one in the cart. You can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. <laughs> Dude, don't tell it's her okay. that. <laughs> Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? You should probably turn us over to the, uh, the Pinkertons or something. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Yep. 
was indeed. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody! This guy's Dutch got two back. raffles. How'd you get on? Dutch is uh, back! Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Home O'Driscoll and his scum of them there is scouting yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Enter Whether pursued by memory. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Uh, Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. <laughs> Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you <laughs> this way last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Sorry if I'm not talking much. This is like really cinematic and it's kind of like got me, got me hooked, you know. It's getting me pretty immersed, that's for sure. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Where you going? Follow Javier. Oh, what the heck? You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Who's coming in hot again? We'll lose these tracks if you don't Oh, that's fast. cool. This isn't a cutscene, by the way. This is a cinematic camera, apparently. Oh, crap. John That's not good. That horse, that horsey. Let's see if he can hear us. I hear him. I hear him. Come on. Up there. Push the saddle on your horse. From this way. Okay. Careful here. We're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. How the heck did he get all the way out here? What the heck was John doing? Freaking mountain climbing? He went to die? 
Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John! John, where are you? Marst! Up here! Down on the ledge! That's John! Marst? Wait, 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 John Marston, is this? St. John Marston from the first game. Hot down, Marston. No way. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to I see you, Arthur is. Morgan. Hey, Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, the Quelly. heck messed them up this bad? A mountain tiger or something? A cougar? A mountain lion? Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Camp? Argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't <laughs> the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh. You see that on the ridge? Oh, wolves. Perfect. Perfect. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Oh. We're getting you out of here. That's easy. Keep them away from us. Drop them off us, Arthur. <laughs> Your <laughs> Thank you, Latin. <laughs> Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> if you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> We have been running for weeks. Okay, man. 
We found shelter. Scratch. Been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. for now. Morning, fellas. What's up with you boys? Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Yeah. Apart from you. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I have <laughs> never seen so many long faces. That's racist. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both have been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. Driscoll. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. Ooh, and this is Dutch. about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Colm? Always had good information. Come on. Ooh, we're gonna time up to the now tracks. Now is the right time to hit a train. Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. I like that touch of voice cracks here and there. It's kind of funny. Got a lasso. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Doug. <laughs> yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. Oh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Hey! All right, gentlemen. <laughs> this is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready. ready. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two, hold position here. Let's go. We got this covered, Arthur. Go with Dutch. My, my horse just took a crap. Okay. That's quite the attention to detail, Rockstar. Binoculars. Little brass. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Fancy coat, suit, tie. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. 
Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right, let's go pay our old friends a visit. <laughs> oh, dude, we creeping? We creeping? Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Stay low. Come on, follow me. That she can hear you, dang it. Okay, let's get in cover. Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We don't have time to debate this. Okay, I'll go first. Pretty cool. Oh, that kill cap is pretty cool. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, it's so realistic. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse. Ooh, chewing tobacco. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the breeze! Shit, there's a lot of them! What do you think, Arthur? Do we hold around here or go at them? Reckon we're better holding here. All right, take them off as they come out of the trees. Take my fill. All right, 
man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. A cigar? Ooh, bourbon? A cigar? Ooh. Here. Dynamite. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come Delicious. On. Now, careful with that. Go Did we boom, get boom. everything? Think so, boss? Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Wow, it's a big oh, roll of paper. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I'll bring him back alive. What the hell's wrong with you? You come here, boy. You're oh, you're gonna get hot tag. Please, please, you don't need to do this. No, I definitely do this. First. Let's see what you got, boy. Do you really? So, what you got? Ah, some health cure, eh? Alright. Let's go. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. I don't believe you. Oh God, no! I'll be a good boy and stay still, name, or else you're gonna fall off I and don't die. No, you don't know your name. It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise <laughs> you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! What did I just say? Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test Don't me do it on my horse, I just got it. I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, didn't They're you? They're real yeah. nice, but you found it. I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this bit up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay.
old friend. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rat. For what? Chances. Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea. In the Navy. Days, and you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found <laughs> nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Let's go. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're okay. joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I'm... All right, let's head out. You sure are good. Pretty cinematic, but uh, please just get me to the gameplay, please. Careful. Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Well, I mean, the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. All right, all right. Quietly and slowly. I'm about to repeat. No, use the bow I gave you. That'll make too much noise. But, but gun. <laughs> oh, I see something up ahead. Down there. You <gasps> see him? To me. Quick, get the bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Good shot. Now let's try for another. I got him. Now, why did I not hesitate to shoot him? Well, for one, this is what we call... Survival of the ones with the biggest guns. White tail. Ooh. Got him. Well Got done. Him. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one. Bye, dearie. You sure your okay. hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. It's also called survival of the one that's hungriest. The gang should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen enough of that. 
Considering how things were looking a couple of days back. Oh, watch it. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't <laughs> even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. Brought some food back, boys! Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, you know, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. And a sea walk. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Hey, nope. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel <laughs> like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. <laughs> no, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. <sighs> Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> <laughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Oh. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> few days later. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery, robbery and, and dreams. dreams. Who the hell's well, the biggest cool name is last rights. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look <laughs> at you. I was always at <laughs> It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? 
Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, Ooh, oil sugar man. Deal. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch, That's right. Man, it is time Darn to right. make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Woohoo! Off into the sunset we ride. All right, let's head out. And we'll figure out who Leviticus Cornwall is next time. For now, thank you for watching. You're all fantastic. See you next episode.